I want to share something I discovered by accident that you may not know and that I have not seen on other sim money making videos. And it could easily make your sim rich fast, because you could be earning more than with a level 10 doctor's career in less sim hours. Of course, there are other ways to get rich fast, but a lot of those feel like cheating, so you may as well use Motherload. I usually have this as a side hustle for my sims, and because they do have to put in a little bit of work, it at least feels like you worked for it. However, you do need the vampire pack for it, so don't hate me if you don't have it, I'm just the messenger. And why this is one of the best ways to make money with gardening is because this plant can grow during all seasons. So first you want to purchase garlic seeds from any plant box and just buy as many as you can afford or are willing to spend time on and then just plant them as you would any other plant. Now this is where the magic happens. You want to purchase the level 1 vampire tome from a bookshelf. It's not that expensive, it only costs 75 simoleons and you only need the first book. So you want to read it until you get to level 5 of the vampire lore skill. It's very quick to get to level 5, you can do it the same day. And and by the time your plants spawn the next morning, you will be able to do what I will show you in a second. Once you reach level 5, you unlock the ability to make garlic braids, wreaths and garlands. So then just open your inventory and click on the garlic that you have harvested and select the option Make Garlic Object. Garlic wreath will use 10 garlic, the braid will use 5 and the garland will use 15. The wreath sells for 202 simoleons, the braid sells for only 52 and the garland sells for 165. And here for a visual representation I'm showing how much you would make from a bulk of 10. So obviously what you want is the garlic wreath because it uses the least garlic while making you the most money. The only annoying thing about this is that they have to physically make the object and they can only make one at a time because it will cancel and make only one no matter how many actions you try to stack. So it's best to do it on speed 1 because the animation will take the same time regardless and less sim hours will tick by if that makes sense. And that's the whole trick, however I do want to do a little experiment. So for week 1 we are starting with no lot traits and also no gardening related sim traits. So here I am planting the normal plant quality patch. Here we have perfect plants and here we have perfect plants that are sheltered because sheltered plants are said to produce less plants so I want to check. And we have 20 plants in each section. And initially planting them is what is going to take the most time but after that you only have to gather and make the actual garlic object. Another annoying thing about having sheltered plants is that you have to water them every single day. So especially because this is an all season plant you really don't need to make a greenhouse for it. And also make sure your sims change into weather appropriate outfits or this will happen. <laughs> so at the end of week one, from the sheltered patch, we have 700 garlic, from which you get 70 wreaths, which sells for over 14,000 simoleons. And surprisingly, all the patches made the same exact amount of garlic and all sold for the same exact amount. At the end of week one, we have earned over 42,000 simoleons, which is pretty good for just a little bit of gardening. If you're gonna be gardening quite a bit, you probably wanna get the storm chaser trait, otherwise your sim will be running inside after every single plant and it's so annoying. And instead of getting struck by lightning and dying, what you actually can get is superpowers. But don't get too excited because you can't kill other sims. For week 2 we're going to be selecting the Great Soil Lot trait and what I noticed is that the soil in the plant boxes kind of shimmered but no other soil or no other plants were shimmering so it only applies to plant boxes so it's... Uh, it does make sense because it's the lot land, you know? Okay. So we are replanting the normal patch just to reset everything and see if that makes any difference. At the end of week 2 still only 700 garlic from each patch despite the Great Soil trait. So week 3 we are starting off, when I tried it with cheaper fish it didn't always work but with sturgeon and more expensive fertilizer it was ready to be evolved soon after and my advice would be to keep them in a tank so their quality remains excellent. When I fertilize it with spoiled fish it also didn't work. We are going to be maxing everything out, we're taking the great soil trade, we're also buying the super green thumb for the sims and replanting the normal box again and we are fertilizing everything even the perfect plants just in case it does something and we are also going to be putting up the bee boxes that are kind of like an additional fertilizer 
but with bees you definitely want to interact with them as much as possible I noticed that when I just left them there to do their own thing nothing happened no plants evolved but every time you apply my treatment or interact with them they kind of go to the plants and pollinate them and when you build up just enough relationship you can actually gather the swarm and you can just pollinate nearby plants from your inventory and you can do that quite frequently and that helps you evolve the plants super quick and you don't even need to waste time or money on fertilizer so keep the bees happy if you want your plants to be happy and look already the next morning the plants are ready to be evolved Here I'm checking how much each plant quality produces. So normal plant produces five garlic per plant. What was kind of disappointing is that even if you make a wreath from a perfect plant, it still only sells for 202. So there is no difference between normal and perfect plants. And even though higher quality plants are supposed to give you more produce, it still only gave five per plant. So with this experiment, I learned that there is no point to put in any extra effort. You can literally just throw them in the ground and let them grow and evolving them won't make any difference if you're trying to make money from garlic objects. So sadly, we kind of wasted time on all this extra effort. And doing these experiments did take quite a few days, so I hope this was helpful. Please consider subscribing, liking the video and commenting. I would love to know what you thought and if you knew about this method. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!